Hi right, everyone, how's it going? Welcome to part eight. Okay, so today I come in, I've took the badges off, uh, done a few bits and pieces inside the doors and that sort of thing. And I'm now about to get onto this boot. I've got a 500 at the top. I've got a 320 round where the badges come off and the sticky bit is left. And then we'll move on from there. So I'll spin you around and let's get started.
Whew. So, give it a good old sand down, everything's smooth. I know it's a couple of tiny stone chips over here. Give them a little skim, fill them up. You get the idea of what I'm doing there. So what we'll do is I'll speed this up, get this whole boot done, and we'll move on to the next bit. Okay, so I started doing this without filming, so I whipped the camera on. And I'm gonna get these little vents done. We're already done the other side. Just gonna get in here and get these little things done. Make sure you get all the little top bits. And if the lacquer starts to peel or something like that, then get an air gun, a compressor or something like that, and um, just blast it all off, like this bit here. No worry, you can see that. I might have to get an air gun on there in a minute and just blast it. These bigger ones are not too hard to do, but these little diddy ones are right fiddly little buggers. So I think you get the idea of what I'm doing. So what I'll do is, um. I'll stop you there and I'll come and speed up the footage, get that done, and I'll bring you in close and let you see what we're doing. Okay, so I sanded that down with 500, which was this. Um, I've got most of what I can get. And they're going to get in there with the old scotch bright and just finish off the little bits that you can't get to with a bit of sandpaper. Around the edges. It can be a pain. Not a very nice job to do these little things, to be honest. But you got to get in there and get them done, haven't you? No point in leaving any shiny bits of paint because if the paint don't stick to it, sometime down the line it's going to start coming off. And then you could be painting the wing again. You don't want, you want to get it right first time. Maybe spend a bit more time doing it. But in the long run, that'll be worthwhile. Because um, overall finish, will be lovely and you won't have to start doing redos three months down the line. It's 
expect to see a car like this. The bodywork should last years and years and years. Apart from like obviously you're going to get stone chips on your front bumper from motorway driving and stuff like that. But otherwise, the paintwork should last a long, long time. If it's done right, anyway. It's all to do with the prep, to be honest. Obviously, you've got to be able to spray and put it on nicely. Which you obviously all know I can do. Got a little bit there, it's got a bit of peeled lacquer, see? You need to make sure they're blended in or they'll stand Right, out. so time to show you what I've just done. Which we definitely don't want. It's a bit close because I'm so close up to the wall here. Yeah, but There's not many more bits Where it looks like I haven't done these bits I have, that's where I've gone through the lacquer. In the spray booth, pull a sheet over it and um, get some yes, prime on a bit of good. prime. Once we've done the wing, it's going to be my plan. I'll get rid of these scratches and stuff. In there and in primer. Take that in, but I'll do that off camera with some 500. And then round the other side, let's get some of these bits while I'm here as well. There's, there's no work to do on them, we just need flattening them down. Same thing again. So we get I'm a nice lovely right back. And then the same with this wing. Obviously I'll make sure I'll go around, 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 around the whole car anyway. before we take it in. And um, make sure everything's flat, no scratches as I can see. So I'll use 500 or even 800 if I have to. Just to make sure everything is right, I need to get in the back of these indicator that I haven't like done that. nothing with the roof yet. But the Let's roof is so good. Flattening down. Uh, that's probably not gonna need primer, it's only gonna want flattening down. So you can see me doing that's that. really good. That'll save us right. a bit of time there. So, so we're doing quite very well. Close to that point where getting the hours in, I getting said, the car done. Blow it all down. So I think the next the bit's bay. gonna be I'm gonna Give it a good old jet wash the whole lot. Get, uh, someone did really give me a hand to get these front doors off because they're really heavy. Dust free. Um, and then we're going to hit this be with some up, like inside the doors, around the frame, taking all the stuff out of the way. Sit for a few days. All the catches, all the sensors, all that sort of stuff. Really, really hard. And then we'll flatten down inside all the again. doors and stuff. Whether that's enough. And then we're pretty much ready to go in the bay. And then we can go from there, really. We've got one more job. Yeah, we're getting to the final stages. We've got uh take that out. The old sunroof. So we're obviously going to do it from the inside. I think that's a headlining down job. I can't remember, to be honest. I haven't done one for quite a long time. But I'll work it out anyway. And we'll get that out of our way and we'll go from there. The car's getting a bit dusty and looking a bit sorry for itself at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> but it won't be a problem. We put it all back together. And she's all lovely and shiny. That's gonna look good. Spoilers all sitting here, all ready to go. Bonnet's here, ready to go. Other side, as you probably know, is in primer. So, other side in painting. So yeah, we're getting there now. A lot of the hard bits have been done. We just got to finish off some fiddly bits now. And then we'll be in the bay on the next video.
Okay, so time to take the glass out the doors now and then get them ready to be removed from the car. But what I found on this side is unbelievable. Basically got screws and wood. So I'll show you here. And that's literally what's holding the window up. Bits of plastic over this side with more screws and wood underneath there. So we've got right, to so let's get the rubbers and stuff off the door and inside. Go from there, really. Isn't it? So we'll sort that out. We'll obviously on the rebuild. But could do a bit of this one out. Like that. Ten <laughs> mil. Best way to do it is on a ratchet like this, nice and quick. And what I normally do once I get the bar and stuff out, I put them in the boot and um, just put the nuts and stuff back on them. You know which ones go where. Some of these have got hidden bolts. Got to work out what's been done here because it's all been messed around with all this. Isn't it? You should have another 10 mil on the other end of this. What an absolute bodger. Which we have got. Doesn't look like the right 10 mil because they're normally not a brassy goldy colour. I can't believe but some people do this sort of it's stuff. It's coming out anyway. No need for it. I mean, come on, that tank costs a lot to get one out. Five or a ZS. Should leave you these two bolts in a door mechanism these out days, don't <laughs> Windows dropping, that's just literally all it's holding it. Certainly wiring out here, it's going everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so more wood going to the center out. Try and get all together. So, and then you've got one more down the bottom here. <laughs> it's under the sticky stuff. And this window is pretty much out. Because there's nothing else in the door to hold it up. And that should release all of that. So that's that one off. Not in the way I want to do it, but that's out anyway. So we'll have to rebuild that. On the rebuild, we'll have to strip down one of the other doors and put all the insides on it. So after this one, that should hopefully come out. That's mint too, anyway. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, so we got connected. Pretty sure there aren't any others. Pull all these rubbers off and everything as well. Got a nice bit of dirt and stuff inside this door to deal with while it's things. Right, so what's holding this on still? It should be off. Cover it covers up all your door mechs and stuff in there, but shouldn't be holding it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Gonna say, normally it comes out without it, and it has. Be careful when you take this bit out. That's basically what you're left with. Rubble with your metal frame and a bunch of bolts. Let's see. Best thing to do with these is to put them back on like this. And you know exactly where they go. Obviously you can't put that one in there. Well you can actually, yeah. It's pretty one. Then I'll just put them in the foot well of their door, take them off so I know it goes on that door. Uh, we need to knock a pin out of the catch on the side here. So we'll just grab a little hammer to do that. Ooh. It's literally a case of 
tap, 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 tap. So how easy that come out, didn't you? Pop it on the floor in there as well. And then you can take your rubber around you. Door latch. Undo the last two clips on your rubber. He says, oh, we've got a slight difference on this one. because Someone's made up a um, bit of wire for the door card light at the bottom there, aren't they? Which means it's got to come through here. So I'm going to have to pull these off and reconnect them. <sighs> Hopefully it'll be as simple as that. That is. Put them inside the car. Gonna have to pull them through the door. Just like so, be careful of your power. Just touching anything, and then your rubber's off. And that's two, it didn't take long to take off. Putting them back on is a different story. Take a bit longer. Uh, so we're pretty much stripped out. We've got to do the front bar here. Which we should be able to release and then we can get to it. So, get one go. There we go. I think I got it without breaking most of the clips, which is pretty good going. They're quite hard to do. I don't leave much on the door now. Um, well, we got all this frame out. Is going to be a seven or eight by looks of things. Let's grab one of them. A little suction bar to make it easy. get free. We don't actually need this bar out, we just want this front cover off. If you loosen these off that helps. And then you undo these screws. Good thing about video and something like this as well is um, if you don't know how these go and you've never done them before and stuff you can watch your video back and see how you took it off to put it back on again obviously i've done hundreds of these so i know I'm inside out but that's off clips are all good and we're starting to get a bare door which is what we need Probably are going to have to remove this bar. Make sure you keep all your screws and all your bits and pieces so you can redo everything. And that one comes out the same. Obviously, that's all around your central rocking motors and all that sort of stuff. So. You have to feed this one through. I do you believe this one won't, won't come out the top? I think it has to come at the bottom, if I remember rightly. Pretty sure that's how it goes. You feed it through the door. Yeah. Tell I've done a few of these, don't you? Imagine a fair few people trying to mess about and try and work out how they come out the top of the door, but that'd be a nightmare. <laughs> right, so we're pretty much stripped down on this door, and this door's ready to come off. Got some 13 mil bolts. Got the electrics to take off under here, and then that's pretty much this door off. So 
I'll finish these little bits off because you can't see them anyway because they're all like inside the door there. So I'll finish them off and we'll remove this door. I'll do that off camera like I say because you can't really see anything. All you'll see is my back, which is not a lot of good. Well, that was a bit strange. I literally just had a message come in on one of the previous videos saying, can I show a bit more detail on how I get the doors off without damaging them and hitting them on the floor and stuff. So I'm now about to drop this door. So I'll show you exactly what I do. So basically get an old spare wheel or something like that. These are just rubber floor mats. You can buy a pack of them fairly cheap from most places. Put it under the door like so catch the weight so you've got the weight in your arm put your knee in the same place on the door and basically get them as loose as you can take the weight off them I've got them literally so they're hand tight so I'm literally just spinning with my hands I know you probably can't see it but you'll get the idea and then you just have the only one you have left is the top one draw and rest it on your knee he says but oh, they're still tight. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to grab a spanner. Okay, so I've got to do the same thing on the other side. Another tip is to keep a spanner with you when you again. It's just exactly the same as what I've done the other side. Right, Pop so the window the weight off the bolt in at this time, which will be 10 mils, 8 mils to release the window. So I'll we'll whack this on a fast forward time lapse. That's where this one's being a pain. And we'll get the side off as well. It's got all the weight on it, even though I'm. I'm going to take the weight off me. Most of the weight off me. You're very close to the hinge and the pin. So you have to do it with the open minute, but you can't do it with the ring. Normally they're just spin off in your hand, but this one's been a pain. It's still tight. I doubt it's never been off before, I don't think. Okay, so. Both doors are off. Doesn't look like we've got much damage inside the doors to sort out. Hardly any scratches cool. or stone chips or anything like that. Never had one like this because I'm trying to show and it. stuff like that. It's being Get a pain. Wire and stuff. Take all the bits and pieces out. As you can probably see, I've got all the weight on my knee. That's undone. Right then, drop your bolts and spanner. Thing. Come across. But otherwise, you're yeah. pretty good. Yeah, and away you are. There you go. Doors That's it. Like that door's off. Bear. So we'll wander off with that. Ready to finish off a prep on them. And then and we can wander there if you can. Mask up the bits we need to mask up and we want some more of these. Some primer on them, which is great. Been looking forward to this bit. 
something like so. And then the same on the other side. Yeah. If it's a wall or something like that. Just so the floor, uh, just so the door's not on the floor. Yeah, and really you're not tidy. scratching the bottom. Clean up. Making more work. And you can see little scratches and marks down the bottom there we can sort out on the way. The next thing I'm going to be doing is pulling all these out. Which as you can probably see, come out quite easy. These ones are a bit more of a pain. Got a few screws around the edges of the seats. But otherwise, not too bad. Okay, so time to move some doors and panels about. Boots, bonnets, etc, etc. Have a good tidy up with some tools, sweep the floor, get a lot of dirt up from under the car from taking panels off and hitting the skirts and stuff and work out where we go from there they obviously don't look much in the picture because there's times 10 but it took me probably about half an hour to sort of move all this stuff up and pack up everything okay so time to remove the boot so first thing to do is get all the wiring off take the motors and stuff out and take the locks and stuff out and slide it all through the boot for all the little gaps and stuff and out the bottom and what I've done here is I forgot to turn my mics on so I'm talking away and nothing's getting recorded so I'll speak over this and then I'll fast forward it up
going to put that on. <laughs> Pretty good. I think we're to the point that our car's ready to all be flattened off. Got a few little bits to pull off on the other side, inside the doors. Got a couple of catches to take off, sunroof. And then I'll be flattening it all down and getting ready to take it in the bay.
So this is what it's looking like outside. I've been sitting outside for a while. Poor thing. The last bit of strip from ready to be scrapped on it. <laughs> poor. <laughs> poor car. But that will get sorted. Right, it's time to get it spun round, clear some stuff and get it in the spray bay. Things are a bit different outside now. Had a good old clear up, got a load in storage. Right, so let's sort this out. Let's see if we can get it in this spray bit.
So we're all in the bay, I've got it covered up. I'm now about to cut out the bits so I need to cut out and mask around them ready to prime. So I'll get on with that and I'm going to call this the end of the video. This is obviously getting a bit long now, probably hit the hour mark. I'm going to get some of the panels like this all onto stands and stuff. I've got two or three other stands I need to build up and I'm going to try and prime a fair bit all in one go. So stay tuned, look out for the next video, which will be number nine. And let's start getting some primer on this car. And then we won't be too far away from doing some paint. So she's really good. So, all we have to say really is, thank you very much for watching, please like, subscribe, share, and that sort of stuff, and I'll see you very soon in the next video. If there's anything you want to see, you do on the channel, or anything you want to get a bit more detail, I'll get to that few messages pretty much every day, to be honest with you.